Good news for Erie's Wabtec plant. Union Pacific Railroad has made the largest North American investment to date in the company's battery electric locomotive technology. And the railroad has ordered 10 of the zero emissions locomotives developed right in our area. Tonight, our Lisa Adams is here with us. Lisa, you learned Union Pacific plans to use the locomotives right in the rail yard. So what does this mean for the environment and the jobs right here in our area? Well, good evening, Eva and Mike. Union Pacific says Wabtec's battery locomotives will help the railroad follow their first comprehensive climate plan set last month. They want to reduce emissions 26% by 2030 and get to net zero by 2050. And if more orders from other rail lines follow for Wabtec, so should more jobs. Last year, we showed you Wabtec's promising new flex drive battery electric locomotive developed right here in Erie. It runs on 7,000 battery cells. And for Union Pacific, which plans to use the 10 locomotives it's ordering in its rail yards, zero emissions and eliminating 4,000 tons of carbon annually. Company and union officials say it's the future. So when you're looking at a 70% reduction in noise and zero emission locomotive, uh, that'll help clean up cities quite a bit, especially big cities with big rail yards. The order for 10 battery electric locomotives made here at Wabtec in Erie may not sound like much, but based on the strength of other recent orders, the plant has already called back about 200 laid off union workers in the last four months. Union leaders hope that the purchase of this zero emissions technology bodes well for the future of employment here. We hope we've bought it out of that trough and, and uh, this is the signal of, of of change in the rail industry. We hope that this order leads to more orders because that's what will get people brought back to work for sure. The Union Pacific order for Flex Drive comes on top of orders from Roy Hill, Rio Tinto, BHP, and CN Canadian National. Slauson says the union is down to about 150 people left on their recall list and there's been talk about new hiring potential. He's hopeful but cautious about more orders. Well, until the ink is dry on the contracts, they're not orders. Um, but things are definitely looking better than they were. Um, and the, the relative degree of confidence in, in the future is, is much brighter than it was, for sure. So as we mentioned, four other rail companies have already ordered flex drive locomotives as well. And Slauson said, again, just 150 laid off workers on that union call back list. So he's hopeful for those folks. And employment that dropped as low as 1,000 workers at the Erie plant is already back to between 11 and 1,200. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now. Exciting.